For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the annual scientific meeting of the American College of Rheumatology in Atlanta, Georgia. Children with juvenile idiopathic arthritis were approximately twice as likely as controlled children to have some form of cancer. However, no cancer cases were noted in a subset of children exposed to anti-TNF therapy. Since the introduction of TNF inhibitors in, in clinical practice, there's always been concern about a possible increased risk of malignancy associated with them. Uh, this concern uh, increased greatly last year when the United States Food and Drug Administration released their report uh, showing uh, an asso a possible association between the TNF inhibitors and uh, malignancies in children. Uh, the, when the FDA conducted this study, they compared rates of malignancy in children receiving TNF inhibitors to children in the general population. This is uh, perhaps not the best comparison that could be made because it raises other questions regarding uh, possible uh, risk of increased malignancy from other drugs that the children are receiving, such as methotrexate, or from the disease process itself. Uh, in adults with rheumatoid arthritis, many studies have shown an increased risk of some types of malignancy due to the rheumatoid arthritis itself and not to the treatment. Well, what we found was uh, an increased rate of malignancy uh, of about two to three fold compared to children without JIA. So the take home message would be that the initial concern regarding a possible increased rate of malignancy attributed to the TNF inhibitors uh, should be mitigated some by our, our findings and that this increased rate that was seen is probably not all attributable to the anti-TNF treatment but may in part be due to the disease itself. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough data to make any definitive conclusions regarding the association of TNF inhibitors uh, and malignancy. So that still remains an open question. So we'd like to collect additional data and additional follow-up to have a more definitive answer regarding this association. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleeve.